of hiring a single contractor to handle grass cutting on blighted properties in Youngstown has turned into an argument. Tensions got heated at City Council last night. 27 First News reporter Jerry Ricciuti breaks down the program and who might benefit. A step backward this morning as Youngstown's mayor and law and finance directors voted to defer purchasing equipment for the city's high grass cutting program, now looking to come back next week and try again. But it's a matter of providing additional information to city council. Wednesday, several members questioned the methods used in the past to determine which lots were cut before others. It quickly turned into a shouting match over race. I never said that. City leaders are looking to contract with the Youngstown Neighborhood Development Corporation to handle grass cutting citywide, as opposed to being one of a dozen companies doing the work in the past. So the intention again is that we would cut all unmaintained vacant homes where the owners aren't maintaining them, and we would do that fairly systematically. Beniston tells me why NDC would hire 15 to 20 young adults to do the work through the Mahoning Columbiana Training Association and the local AmeriCorps program. While the city paid up to $50 for each lot that was cut in the past, the work would now be done for just a fraction of that. And when we run the numbers in terms of how the labor runs through the program, we end up getting about four times the services that the city is currently doing for about the same time the cost. And have people employed and gain valuable job experience and just give young people something productive to do in the summer months too. Council's finance committee is expected to meet again Tuesday evening. Officials hope to convince enough members to go along with the idea and approve it by the end of next week, well ahead of the grass cutting season. In Youngstown, Jerry Ricciuti, WKBN 27 First News.